Good afternoon, Stonebridge Country Club membership. I hope that everyone is enjoying the weekend and getting some rest after a crazy couple of weeks. It's been a lot getting used to new routines, worrying about the health of our family and friends, and adjusting to a new normal. For me personally, it's been an adjustment getting used to working from home with my four kids, my wife Danielle, our dog Buddy, and our new puppy Callie. I know everyone is affected in different ways from this disease, and I wish you all the best in whatever situation that you're in. I want to take a moment to update you on a few club-related matters. When we started this year, we talked a lot about the, how the true heart of our club lies in our membership, a collective body of successful, passionate, generous, and caring families. Unfortunately, in a time when we're usually starting to enjoy everything that the club has to offer, we are facing challenges that we couldn't have imagined. It's in times like these, however, that I'm most thankful to be a part of the community here at Stonebridge Country Club which has long been established through decades of loyalty and fellowship. I'm grateful to know that while we're facing our own individual circumstances, we always have an incredible group of caring and connected people here to support one another through it all. As a board, we want to reassure you that we are committed to prudently managing our finances. We are confident in our ability to do this. While we have been in constant communication with each other and our leadership staff throughout this continually developing situation, at our next board of directors meeting on April 2nd, we plan to address all further necessary measures to achieve our primary commitment of fiscal responsibility. There is good news to report. We are coming off a year in which the club operated at a fiscal surplus, so we're positioned to weather the storm better than many other clubs. Our treasurer, finance committee, and staff have been diligent in providing up-to-date financial forecasts to mitigate the current loss in revenue to the club. To forecast in the most conservative way possible, we forecasted for a scenario where we'd be forced to operate in our current state through the end of May. Also, we were in discussions with our CPAs to determine what programs we may be able to take advantage of through the recent executive order. In order to reserve our capital, we have put previously approved club and course improvement plans on hold. This includes our course modernization projects and the renovation of the pool locker room facilities. Finally, we were forced to make difficult decisions to reduce our part-time staff. It is our hope we can continue to support the salaries of our full-time management and valued support staff to avoid prolonged issues when things do inevitably return to normal. Our kitchen staff continues to provide with a full menu of carryout and delivery food orders, of which the demand has been exceptional and much appreciated. Additionally, our maintenance crews are working to maintain the grounds daily. I'm looking forward to the day when we open the doors of our clubhouse and the celebration, laughter, and camaraderie returns. Meanwhile, let's continue to foster a vibrant future for our club, even during this tough of times. I wish you all good health, and I hope to see you around the club very soon.